Hello there and welcome back. This is Total OS Today, Total Operating Systems Today, technology for beginners and beyond. My friends call me TOS. Well, a couple years ago I posted a video why Windows users can't switch to Linux. This has by far been the most viewed video here, at least on my channel, maybe on the web on this particular subject. It's been the most controversial. 700 likes, 700 dislikes. You can probably guess which group likes it, which group, which group doesn't like it. That's okay. Uh, my intention was not to be controversial. Uh, this was in response to a viewer question that I answered. If I offended any, anyone, I truly apologize. My intention was not to do that. But here we are a few years later. Of course, Windows 10 has been released for free. Many, many, many millions of users have upgraded, such as myself, on three machines. And I love Windows 10 so far. But what about Windows users, or at least why some Windows users can't switch to Linux? Well, I'll tell you this, that's probably the title that should have been uh, two years ago to this type of subject. But for today, I'm going to put myself in the mind of a new user coming to Linux from Windows who's maybe considered Linux and never used it. So let's go to my top 10 Windows user myths about Linux. Now there, there might be more, but this is entirely up to you. All right, number one, Linux is too hard to learn. Um, well, let's take a look at Zorn OS. Accessories, games, graphics, internet, isn't this pretty much self-explanatory? Now, it may have been true 10 years ago, Linux would have been too hard for beginners, and it's probably still true today, a small percentage that some Linux distributions, distros, or Linux-based operating systems might be too hard to learn but you have choice, so you don't have to go to those specific non-beginner friendly uh, distributions. I use Zorn, which you see here. I also like Linux Mint, and my current favorite on my other desktop is Ubuntu Mate or Mate. So, for the most part, I would say this is not true. Number two, most Windows users don't use Linux. Well, let me just say, so what? It may be true that most mom and pop households probably use mainly Windows or Mac computers. Why should this stop you from trying to use uh, Linux? Try it, you might like it. So while this may be mainly true, this should have nothing to do with you at least trying to use a user-friendly Linux operating system. Number three, Linux is insecure totally untrue. In fact, I believe that Linux is more, more secure than the Windows. Now, that's not to say that the latest Windows isn't secure. I'm just telling you that for what I understand, and I've been doing this a long time, I believe that Linux in general is more secure. And I dual boot different versions of Windows and different versions of Linux. Which gets me to number four. I have to give up Windows. You don't have to give up Windows. If you like Linux so much, you can replace Windows, but I dual boot. Now, what that means is after I install my user-friendly Linux-based operating systems, I choose to boot either into Linux or Windows. So you, you do not have to give up Windows. All right, number five, can't play games in Linux. All right, well, this may be partially true it's getting better you can certainly play games in Linux uh, performance can vary and maybe you can't play certain specific games in Linux an example would be Halo well Halo wasn't designed for Linux so whose fault is that so okay this is partially true but in general yes you can play games in Linux all right Linux has an unfriendly community Really? The entire 100% community is unfriendly? Just like the entire 100% Windows and Mac communities are unfriendly? Uh, maybe some communities are unfriendly, but in general, no, I would have to disagree. Number seven, lack of quality of apps. This is probably one of the other reasons next to gaming why, why Windows users can't switch to Linux. Uh, some of you, maybe a lot of you, have to use specific apps for what you do to get the job done that are not available in Linux. Quality can vary, so this is partially true. There are many good quality of apps and many bad quality of apps. So for some of you, I'll give you this, it's probably partially true no hardware support this may have been true years ago but for the most part you shouldn't have any issues 
I would say probably that the number one issue today for hardware support is probably graphics card but once again that's not necessarily a fault of Linux it's the vendors who need to jump on board so for the most part this is not true but when it comes to graphics cards okay fine this is probably true all right Linux is hard to install no, uh, Zorn OS, I find it very easy. Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and some others I think are very easy to install. Uh, you have a choice on how to install some Linux-based operating systems. You can use what's called custom partitioning or pick something that says install alongside Windows, whatever version you have. And that's the click and go method, as I call it. So in general, I would say that this is definitely or at least some, maybe a lot of Linux-based distributions are not difficult to install. Hard to update, in my opinion, definitely untrue. I think it's faster and easier to upgrade and update in Linux, at least in user-friendly Linux di distributions, easier in those than it is in Windows, at least <laughs> less time-consuming. Uh, upgrading Windows 10, uh, it, it well, it took about a couple hours on the average. I suppose that's not too bad on the average, but in general, I would have to say that it's easier to update in Linux. All right, if I missed anything, let me know. But as a Windows dual booter, these are my top 10 Windows user myths about Linux. Well, I hope this clarifies the video I did uh, two years ago. Again, if I offended anyone, I humbly apologize. All right, well, that's it for this one. Don't forget there were two polls this month. Vote for the August YouTuber for this month of August, of course. And the next poll is any problems upgrading to Windows 10. I will have links below in the show notes. The last I checked, it looks like over 50% had issues, somewhat surprising because at least on my three machines I had no problems upgrading. As far as testing and going forward, I don't know yet. But so far, no problems upgrading. All right, well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. As always, enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Take care.